The last football game of the season and the end of an era at Weber State. The Wildcats pound the Vikings at Portland. FIFO Lavalle documents the 2011 football season. The football squad gives thanks to Coach Mack, the top seeded basketball team, and the Big Sky trounces a California team. And the Lady Cats host BYU's basketball team at the D. It's all coming up for you right here on Spotlight on Sports. Hello, I'm Zach Russell. Weber State football was on the road this weekend against a good Portland State team. That didn't phase the Wildcats as they sent Coach Mack out with a win. To start off the game, C.J. Tuckett continued his game-changing play by bursting up the middle for a 53-yard dash to open up a 7-0 lead for the Wildcats. Later in the first, Shaden Kahano made a spectacular 36-yard catch. With the game not at a 13, Mike Hoke would front flip into the end zone, giving the Cats a 7-point lead. It was a tight game through three quarters, but with eight minutes left in the fourth, the Cats would put the hammer down. C.J. Tuckett couldn't be stopped, bursting for 49 more yards, setting up the third of his five touchdowns on the day. On Portland State's last gasp, Anthony Morales jumped the receiver's route to pick it off and return it to the Portland State 11-yard line. After another score, the Cats forced a fumble and got the recovery to seal up the win for Coach Mack at 48-33. to The Cats just missed the playoffs, finishing the year 5-6 and six overall and 5-3 and three in the big sky. With the season coming to an end, let's take a look at the, at the season's top 10 plays. Number 10. Jarrett Gooden comes up with a big interception on the sideline against Montana, number one ranked Montana State in week nine of the regular season. Number nine, in week three against the Bears of Northern Colorado, Mike Hoke hits Barrington Collins on just a huge screen. Number eight, Josh Booker's gonna put on a show in the Battle of Utah as he makes multiple defenders miss in week seven. Number seven, it's not often you see defensive linemen pick off the quarterback, but Pete Rolfe shows great concentration and athletic ability as he picks off Wyoming quarterback Brett Smith in the first game of the season. Number six, in the last game of the season, All-American Nick Webb comes through almost untouched to block a punt against Portland State. Number five, in the, final game, in the final minute of the game, Mike Hope tosses up a prayer to Shaden Kahano as the Wildcats took on Eastern Washington, the Eastern Washington Eagles who were defending national champions. Number four, against in-state opponent, Utah State, the Wildcats call for a little trickery as Mike Hoke fakes two screens and then hits Tyrell Francisco for a tight end pop against the Aggies. Number three, it's very hard to sack the quarterback once during a game, let alone four times, as Trevor Pletcher got to the quarterback four times against Idaho State during homecoming. Number two, David James, remember that name, as the fastest player on the team, picks off Sac State and takes it to the house for a pick six. The number one play of the year, in the final minutes of the game, quarterback Mike Hoke scrambles in for a touchdown as the Wildcats defeat Northern Arizona in Coach McBride's final home game. Many thanks to FIFO Lavalle for this great video. All great things must come to an end as Coach Ron McBride coached his final game as, he, as a head coach last Saturday. The Weber State sports staff wants to congratulate and dedicate this video in honor of the legendary coach as his career comes to an end. Step up. How much time is left before half? We got 90, we're rolling in 90 seconds, Coach. All right, we need your touch. Whoa! Whoa. For over 17 years, you have amazed us. You have reminded us that there is joy in a man playing a game. You've never forgotten your roots or where you came from. You've made us appreciate the times that have been truly super. And we've all felt for you during those times that have been tough.
You stood your ground even when others doubted you. No matter the challenge, you've never backed down. And you've done it all with that smile that makes us feel young. Through your perseverance, through your courage, and through your toughness, every single game, day in and day out, you have inspired us all. Be thankful for every roadblock, every challenge along the way, because they've only made you stronger. Be thankful for every single game you get to play. Be thankful that you've become a star, because nobody can argue with what you've done on that field. Be thankful you've been a champion. Be thankful that you truly are a legend. Be thankful that your memories from the game will be gold. Be thankful that you have truly become a great one. Because we are all thankful. We're all thankful. We are all thankful. We are all thankful. We are all thankful. We are all thankful for you. Thank you, Coach Mack, for all the memories and great things you've done. Best of luck to you and with your, in your life and after football. The Weber State men's basketball team hit the road Saturday night where the Wildcats defeated UC Irvine 80-72. The Anteaters held a two-point lead with fewer than six minutes to play, but the Wildcats finished strong and improved to 3-0 on the season. The Weber State... Weber State will play in the St. Mary's Shamrock Office Solutions Classic next week in Morgana, California. The Weber State women's basketball team, on the other hand, hasn't had, been, had the same success as the men. Eric Jensen tells us what happened Saturday when the Wildcats hosted BYU. The Weber State women's basketball team continued their losing streak Saturday night against Brigham Young University. The Wildcats lost to the Cougars 67-84 falling to 0-3 this year. Senior center Mikkel Woodfield led the Wildcats with a game-high 14 points, going 6-7 of seven from the floor and pulling down a team-high 7 rebounds. Junior forward Amanda Hughes also helped out, contributing 8 points and 5 rebounds. At halftime, the Cougars led the Wildcats by 20 points. The Wildcats clawed their way back and cut the deficit to 6 early in the second half. It would be all BYU after that, though, as the Cougars would pull away and comfortably win the game. Weber State will spend the Thanksgiving weekend competing in the Global Sports Cage Classic, where the Wildcats will face the University of Oregon, Nichols State, and UC Irvine. Again, the final score from Saturday, Weber State 67, BYU 84. For Weber State News, I'm Eric Jensen. Weber State's next home game will be on December 3rd at 5 p.m. when the Wildcats face San Jose State. The Lady Cats cross country team are running in the NCAA Division I championships. The 6,000 meter race is hosted by Indiana State University. Go Wildcats! Thanks for joining us and make sure to check out our YouTube channel and become a fan on our Facebook page. You can see all of our shows at Weber State, www.weberstatenews.org. From all of us at Weber State Sports, have a happy Thanksgiving. See you next time on Weber State Sports, Spotlight on Sports.